Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome video from Mathcation. In today's video, we're going to be learning about how to find the area of a semicircle. As you can see, there are three important tips to remember in order to find the area of a semicircle. The first one is the formula for area of a semicircle is that area equals pi times r squared divided by 2. Now, r in this case is the length of the radius. Now, the radius of a circle is the distance from the center of that circle out to the outer edge. So this is what's known as radius. If you're given a problem where you have a circle and the line that is given to you runs the entire length of that circle, this is what's known as diameter. If they give you the diameter, you have to change it to radius because radius is what's used in our formula. In order to change from diameter to radius, you will just take the diameter and you will divide by two because the diameter is twice the length of the radius. After finding the radius, you square it, multiply by pi, and then divide by two. Now, of course, these are circles, and what we're gonna be finding the area of is a semicircle, which is half of a circle. So this is why we are dividing by two, because technically with the formula, you're finding the area of a circle, but because it's a semicircle, you have to divide that by two because it's one half of the area of the full circle. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem. This problem gives us a semicircle and it's labeled with six inches for this dashed line. This dashed line runs from the center of the semicircle out to the outer edge, which means that this is the radius. We don't have to change anything for this. We can just use it in the formula. So area of a semicircle is pi times the radius squared divided by two. Now we know the radius in this case is six. So I'm going to replace the R with the number six in our formula. And then according to order of operations, you have to do the exponent first. So we're going to square six. Six times six is 36. And that's all over two or divided by two. And then to find the area, you're going to do pi times 36 divided by two. I'm just going to go to the pi button on my calculator and hit pi times 36 and then hit divided by two. And when I do that, I will get 56.55 as the answer. Now our unit was inches, so I'm gonna say inches, and I'm gonna say squared because we're talking about area, and area is always units squared, so it's gonna be 56.55 inches squared. Jumping down to the second practice problem, this problem gives us a semicircle, and the dashed line is labeled as seven feet. Now if you look at the dashed line, it starts in the center of the semicircle, which means that this will be the radius, and that means that seven is the radius. We can go ahead and use seven for our r in our formula. We're gonna use our formula, area equals pi times the radius squared divided by two. Now the radius in this case is seven, so I'm gonna use seven for r. And when you square seven, you have to do the exponent first. So seven times seven is 49 divided by two. So to get my answer, I'm gonna to go to my calculator and I'm gonna say pi times 49 and then divide that number by two. And when I do that, I will get 76.97 and then that's gonna be feet squared because our units are feet and it's squared because you multiplied feet times itself or you squared feet. So it's 76.97 feet squared. And finally, our last practice problem that we're gonna do for finding area of a semicircle our semicircle with a dotted line that runs the entire length of the semicircle. Entire length is the diameter. That's gonna be our diameter, which means we have to convert it to radius. Radius starts only in the middle and runs only to the edge. So it's one half of the diameter. So you just have to take your 10 inches and divide it by two. And 10 divided by two is obviously five. Our radius in this case is going to be five inches. 
and then you do the same exact thing we did in the first two problems. We just had the one extra step of changing our diameter into the radius. We know our radius is 5, so I'm going to say pi times 5 squared divided by 2. And then order of operations means you have to do the exponent first. We're going to say 5 squared, which is 25, divided by 2. Pi times 25 divided by 2. Then we go to our calculator and we just punch that in. Pi times 25 divided by 2. And we will get 39.27. And our units are inches. And they're going to be inches squared because we're talking about area and because we squared the radius, which means our units have to reflect that. And if you want to do some practice problems, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video and you will be taken to a practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.